Hi, my name is Jim Goins. I'm the Clinical Director for Desert Hope in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I'm really uh, very proud and very grateful to work with Judith Pinkerton uh, and what she brings to us here at Desert Hope, uh, the music therapy that she provides uh, on a very large scale. Uh, we are a 148-bed facility here in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, and her music therapy program allows us to divide up our groups into 15 to 30 people groups. Um, one of the things I like the best about her music therapy approach is that it really strives to reach uh, young adults and older adults alike uh, in ways that uh, help unlock certain areas for them that they haven't been able to navigate in the past. Um, they find common ground with others. They're able to emotionally learn how to process events and traumas that have happened to them in their life uh, through the use of music and learning skills uh, to emotionally process and learn how to regulate uh, all of the feelings and emotions that come up uh, through those experience in ways that they can uh, cope in a healthy way and learn how to prevent the, uh, the relapse that typically occurs in the past uh, without those skills. Hi, my name is Sabrina Pearson. I'm a clinician here at Desert Hope Treatment Center. I had the pleasure of working with Rocco twice in treatment. The first time was approximately five or six months ago in which Rocco came to us and had the same issues he did the second time around but wasn't as open to accessing the tools and resources that we had available to him. He participated, went to some of the classes, but um, didn't really take anything too seriously. He left treatment and unfortunately had a relapse, almost ended up in prison and was um, granted the opportunity to come back to us a couple months ago. However, this time around for Rocco, we saw a completely different side of him. He was motivated and open to going to all of his classes and not only going, but taking in anything we had to give to him. I saw the change when Rocco really started diving into music therapy. So Rocco came to process group into individual with me shortly after a music therapy session and said that the music had guided him to trauma and to past repressed memories that he didn't even know existed. I once knew a nigga whose real name was William. His primary concern was making a million, being the illest hustler that the world ever seen. He used to Hello, my name is Jill. I'm a therapist here at Desert Hope Treatment Facility, and I work with helping those that are battling the disease of addiction. Um, and I'm here to let everyone know that music is a great capacity to allow patients to move and shift and direction to where they didn't think was possible. Part of that is bringing up uncomfortability. And when a patient begins to move through uncomfortability, we begin to see trauma be relieved. We begin to see anxiety and depression symptomology decrease. And it allows a person to see that at the end of the day, I can make it. And so having music therapy, part of our programming is definitely an asset to those patients who are willing to go there to unnerve what has kept them in the deep darkness of their addiction throughout their life. And as that came up, he was able to cope with that with the guided music meditation playlist that he had developed a prior couple prior weeks. 